Hi year one, how are you? Can you remember what we were doing yesterday? Not yesterday, the day before. It was Tuesday, this week anyway. I've lost track of all the days. They all seem to be going into one day. I do miss you still. I can't wait until you're back at school. Boris Johnson has said that might be soon and I've got everything crossed. I hope you are well. How are your family doing? Are they okay? I wonder if you can make them smile today. Do a good deed. I'll tell them that they look lovely today. Make someone smile and they might make you smile as well. Let's do some writing. Every time we write, we need to think about important things. You are so grown up now, not in reception anymore. You're year one. It's amazing, and you're halfway through that year, even though we haven't been to school very often. When you write, you must write on the line. Your letters sit on the line really nicely, although some letters do descend under the line, and some letters do ascend up into the sky. Think about which letters go down and which go up. Maybe you could do some handwriting practice. I love handwriting. It's my favourite thing to do, apart from reading. I always start my sentences with a capital letter and I always finish them with a full stop. I make sure that my letters are the right way round because that's important. I try to spell my words correctly and if I don't know, I might go and get a spelling mat to help me. I love to write. I love to put all my ideas and my imagination onto paper and write stories and descriptions. And I always like to add an adjective and make the reader go wow. Today, we're going to add conjunctions to sentences. I'm going to think about the character, a character I created for our magic porridge pot story. I'm going to call her Betty. Can you remember conjunctions, two sentences, and then in the middle, the conjunction links them together, like a chain, like a big bit of glue. I like cats, I like dogs, I like cats and dogs. Can you remember? We're going to have another go at conjunctions today, but this time I'm going to describe my character, Betty. Let's have a go. This is Betty. I'm going to describe her using adjectives and conjunctions. Either and, but or so. They are three conjunctions. They can be plopped into the sentence to make them one sentence. Let's have a go. This is Betty. She has long hair and it is in a plait. So instead of two sentences, she has long hair, it is in a plait, I've used and as my conjunction. Do you understand? Why don't you write it out? This is Betty. She has long hair and it is in a plait. Have a go. Don't forget your beautiful handwriting on the line. Next one. Betty is good at singing and good at dancing. Can you see my conjunction? Yes, it's and. Instead of Betty is good at singing, she is good at dancing. I've put the two sentences together using a conjunction. It adds more detail, just like my adjectives do as well. And it really makes the reader want to read my work. Let's have another go. This is a different one, not and anymore. I've used so. Let's read it together. Betty is a princess, so she lives in a castle. Betty is a princess, so she lives in a castle. Another sentence with so. It was raining, so I wore my Wellingtons. I was hungry, so I had a piece of cake. So it's a conjunction. It's plopped into the middle of two sentences to make them one. Do you understand? Let's have another go. Here's Betty again. This time I've used but. 
is my conjunction. Let's read it together. She likes to eat cake, but she doesn't like tea. And again, she likes to eat cake, but she doesn't like tea. Can you write that one down on the lines? Capital letter at the beginning and a full stop at the end. And maybe you can do the conjunction in a different colour. She likes to eat cake, but she doesn't like tea. I'm going to do one for myself. I love to eat cake, but I'm not keen on cabbage. How about you? Have a go. Now your go. Get a piece of paper and make sure it's got lines on it. Practice makes perfect, you know, when you're writing. Start your sentences with a capital letter and end them with a full stop. And I wonder if you can do a super challenge for me today and either write about a character that you've invented or write about yourself or a family member and use the conjunctions and, but and so. I know that you're going to do brilliantly. And if at first you want to have a go at talking the sentences, then that's brilliant as well. You could have a conjunction morning and go around the house and every time you speak to your parents or your brothers or sisters or your dog, you could use a conjunction. You could say to your dog, I like it when you cuddle me, but I don't like it when you bark. Mum, I'm hungry, so I'm going to have a sandwich. Have a go today. Cool conjunctions, make them work for you.